This is Engineer Faisal Ijaz. I hope you will be fine. In this channel, I prepared detailed lectures for chemical engineers and also for associate engineers. In this channel, you will find playlists of different engineering subjects which will help you in your study, in your interviews and also during your professional industrial life. So subscribe my channel for more videos. Hope you will be fine. This is Engineer Faisal Ijaz. In this video, I will explain the cryogenic distillation of air. Here you can see the block diagram of this process. Here are four sections and in further slides, I will explain each section in detail. Here I will summarize the diagram for your best understanding. In the first section air compression take place and in the second section air purification take place where the impurities of the air removed and uh, that air uh, for further processing required in low temperature condition so uh, to get its low temperature heat exchangers are used after uh, using a heat exchanger we got air uh, which is suitable for further cryogenic distillation process with the help of uh, cryogenic distillation process we separate an air mixture and we got a liquefied form of carbon dioxide nitrogen and argon gas and our most useful product is carbon dioxide in the liquid form purpose of cryogenic distillation of air process so air cryogenic distillation is the process in which a gaseous mixture is separated into its components and in this process air is separated into its components these components are nitrogen oxygen and sometimes organ gas is separated so these separation process uh, take place at some special conditions at high pressure and at low temperature the main purpose of this uh, process is to produce liquid carbon dioxide meaning of cryogenic distillation before proceeding you must know the meaning of these two words so cryogenic mean low temperature and distillation is a process uh, at which we separate a liquid solution at its boiling point so uh, that process produce high purity products but uh, its energy intensive its mean high energy is required cryogenic distillation of air process have the following steps in which the first one is pretreatment compression and cooling of incoming air the second one is removal of carbon dioxide the third one is heat transfer to bring air free to cryogenic temperature and the last one is distillation of air pretreatment of air before distillation process air is treated uh, by the following uh, steps the first one is uh, filtration devices which are used to remove the dirt of the air the second one is air compression to increase the pressure of air uh, air compressors are used the third one is uh, air uh, cooling and uh, that process is used to remove the vapors as vapors are present in gaseous form and after cooling they convert its phase into liquid and uh, then uh, we can separate them so uh, for this purpose several uh, stages of intercoolers are used and the fourth one is uh, for uh, further cooling mechanical refrigeration cycles are used after treatment of air the second stage is removal of carbon dioxide and in this stage water vapor and carbon dioxide both are removed the reason of removal of these both is the clogging of equipment as uh, further processing take place at a low temperature and uh, at low temperature these both convert itself into liquid phase and that liquid phase clog the equipment so to avoid this clogging uh, we remove uh, these both 
After pretreatment and compression, the cooled air is further processed with the help of molecular sieves. Here you can see the molecular sieves which are used for H2S gas and CO2 gas. So here you can see these molecular sieves. So these molecular sieves are porous material having very small size pores in its structure after uh, packing. So different materials uh, sieves are used to absorb the carbon dioxide and water vapors. After removing the air and carbon dioxide, the next step is removal of temperature from incoming air. So for this uh, purpose, heat exchangers are used which treat the air so that the air got a suitable temperature for downstream units for further processing. Distillation of air. So to separate nitrogen, usually one distillation column is required and to uh, get high purity of nitrogen, two distillation columns may be used. So uh, to separate oxygen, usually two distillation columns are required. Uh, in the first column, uh, we operate it at high pressure and the second column operated at low pressure. So as a result, oxygen is the bottom product in the both columns and nitrogen is the top product of a distillation column. Organ gas separation process. So uh, that process take place in this unit and in this unit we introduce impure organ gas and uh, here adsorption unit is provided which remove water and carbon dioxide from this impure organ gas. So uh, for uh, further processing uh, that impure organ gas is treated uh, with the help of uh, cooling and uh, its uh, low temperature liquefaction uh, process take place and uh, after this uh, liquefied organ gas introduced into rectification unit where it is purified and separated. So after that we get pure organ gas. This is Engineer Faisal Ijaz. hope you will be fine. In this channel, I prepared detailed lectures for chemical engineers and also for associate engineers. In this channel, you will find playlists of different engineering subjects which will help you in your study, in your interviews and also during your professional industrial life. So subscribe my channel for more videos.